क्लास इलेवेन का संपूर्ण नोट्स का लगी मेरे वेबसाइट में भिजिट कर गूगल में सर्च कर एनईबी इंग्लिश सपोर्ट र संपूर्ण चैप्टर को नोट कपी बना तैयार इस भिडियो में भेटा हुने नंबर एक संक्षिप्त नेपाली सारांश नंबर दुई विस्तार रूप में अंग्रेजी रेपी भाषा में सारांश साथ ही पाठ्यपुस्तक का प्रश्न उत्तर लेट्स स्टार्ट Tafik Al Hakim's The Song of Death in Nepali Major English New Codes Class 11 Background of the author Lekhak ko prishthabhumi Naam Tafik Al Hakim Janm miti wahan ko janm सन् अठारह सौ अंठानब्बे अक्टोबर महीना को नौ गति राष्ट्रीयता इजिप्टियन जन्म स्थान वहाँ को जन्म इजिप्ट को कडाइवेद एलेक्जेंड्रिया में थियो मृत्यु वहाँ को मृत्यु अठासी वर्ष को उमेर में सन् उन्नाइस सौ सतासी जुलाई महीना को छब्बीस गति इजिप्ट को काइरो शहर में थियो पेशा उपन्यासकार व नाटककार ख्याति प्राप्त कार्य द पीपुल अफ द केव इस नाटक में रहकर मुख्य पात्र नंबर एक असाकेर तीन इजिप्ट देश की एक विधवा किसान हुन नंबर दुई मब्रौका ई एक किसान महिला हुन र असाकेर की देवरानी हुन नंबर तीन अलवान अलवान एकजना काइरो शहर में बस्ने शिक्षित धार्मिक व्यक्ति हो वा मूल पात्र असाकिर को छोरा हो नंबर चार सुमेधा सुमेधा एकजना जवान व्यक्ति हो वा मब्रौका को छोरा र असाकिर को भतीजो हो प्रजेंटिंग शॉर्ट समरी फॉर यू टू कॉपी क्विक समरी इन नेपाली इस नाटक ने मथिलो इजिप्ट को एक गांव का दुईजना महिला तीन का छोरा को जीवन प्रस्तुत यो नाटक मूल पात्र असाकिर को संकल्प का बारे में हो जो अपने श्रीमान को हत्या को प्रतिशोध को इच्छा राख्छन् आपको श्रीमान को मृत्यु पश्चात तीन ने दुई वर्ष उमेर में रहे आपको एकमात्र छोरो अलवान गोप्य रूप ने कायरो भाव में बस्न रन भनी पठाइन् तिनी आपको गाँव में सत्रह वर्ष यही आसमा पर्खी बसिन् तीन को छोरा गाँव में आने रो बुआ को हत्या सुएलम तहावी संग बदला लिने जब तीन को छोरा अलवान गाँव में आद तिनी उस ठूल झोला रा छोरा भेट कर तिनी आपको छोरा अलवान लो श्रीमान को हत्या को इतिहास बताऊं रो छोरा बदला को इच्छा राख्छन् आपको आमा को मनसाई सुनी सके पश्चात अलवान तीन को इच्छा प्रत्यक्ष रूप से अस्वीकार कर दिशो गाँव में आने मनसाई को व्याख्या करद उसका अनुसार ऊ आप गाँव में गाँवले भलाई का लगी आयो हो रूले कहीं नदेखे मानसंग बदला लीन व उस चाहन ऊ आप आमा को सामना तिनी गलत परंपरा को अज्ञानता में बाची रहे छिन् भन्द अलवान काइरो शहर में पढ़ी लेखी एक धार्मिक व्यक्ति बनी सकते हो आमा को इच्छा का लगी हत्या करना चाहन अलवान का कुरा सुनी सके पश्चात असाकि निके रिशाउ रो छोरा को भूमिका व्यर्थ को हो भनी ठाछिन् जब अलवान गाँव बट फिर्ता जाने भनी स्टेशन तीर लगद असाकि भतीजो सुमेधाला तही पुरानो छोरा दी अलवान मर्न भनी पठाउं अंत्य में सुमेधा अलवान मर् रु को गीत जोड़ को आवाज में गाँच सुमेधा को मृत्यु को गीत सुनी सके पश्चात अंत्य में असाकि ज्यादा दुखी हो प्रजेंटिंग डिटेल्ड समरी फोर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड समरी इन बोथ इंग्लिश एंड नेपाली लैंग्वेजेस 
This one act play, The Song of Death, has been written by a prominent Egyptian writer, Tawfiq al Hakim. Yo Ekanki Natak, The Song of Death, Arthat Mirtiuko e Geet, Ekjana Mahatapun Egyptian Lekak, Tawfiq al Hakim Dwara Likhikohu. This play has presented various themes as hope, jealousy, betrayal, and vengeance. Yes, Natakli, Asa, Irsia, Dhoka, Rapartiso, Jasta, Aniko, Mul Bhavru, Prastud Garekocha. Question Rahekocha. What is the theme of the play? Yes, Natako, Mul Bhav Kehu. This play is about a peasant woman, Asakir, and her lifelong resolution, which shatters at the end of the play. Yo Natak, Ekjana Kisan Mahila, Asakir, Ratinko, Ajivan Sankalpaka Barimahu, Jun Natako Antima Tukrincha. At the beginning of the play, we find two upper Egyptian peasant women, Asakir and Mabroka, sitting in silence and listening for a train's whistle. Natakko Suratma Hamiharu, Mathillo Egyptka, Dijana Kisan Mailaharu, Asakir, Ra Mabraukalai Chupchap Basiraheko, Ra Ek Trainko Siti Suniraheko Bhitamsong. Question Raheko Cha, How does the play begin? Natak Kasari Suru Huncha. Question Describe the setting of the play. Natakko setting, or thought, Mahol ko bernan garnuhus. These two women are quite eagerly waiting for Alwan, or Asakir's son, who has been away for 17 years. E dwejana mahilaharu, Alwan, or thought, Asakir ko chorako, egdami usukta sat par kaima basi reheka hunchan, jo satra basaruka lagi, tada reheko huncha. Asakir has sent him to Cairo for his study secretly. Asakir le uslai usko padai ka lagi gupi ruple Cairo sahar padai ki hunchin. They both talk secretly about the identity of Alwan. Ti dwe jana gupi ruple Alwan ko pahichan baare kura gar chin. Asakir is hopeful about the secrecy of her son's identity. Asakir afno chora ko pahichan ko gupi niyata ko baare ma asa pun hunchin. When she asks Mabroka about this matter's secrecy, Mabroka assures her sister saying that the villagers know the fact that Alwan was drowned and died in the water well when he was a child of two years. Jawa Asakir Afni Devrani Mabroka lai yo mamila ko gopaniyata bari sochin Mabroka Afni Jethani lai bishwast dilaundai bhanchin ki gaule haru lai yo tatya thaha cha ki Alwan jawa dui barso ko balak thiyo tethi khera pani ko inarma dube ko ra mare ko thiyo. A bit later Asakir proclaims to Mabroka that her son will soon take revenge. Ali Bir Pachi Asakir Mabroka Lai Ghoshna Garchinki Tinko Chora Chane Badla Linicha. Soon the village will learn that her son, or the son of her murdered husband, is still alive. Chane Gaon Tinko Chora Watinko Hatya Garieko Shirmanko Chora Alwan Mazhe Jibit Chob Nikura Tha Paunicha. She has waited for her son for seventeen years, counting hour by hour. तिनले आफ्नो छोराको परखाई 17 वर्षहरु सम्मन एक एक घंटा गन्दै गरेकी छिन् According to her her fear has ended and now the murderer of his father and the rest of the Tahawis should fear her son's vengeance तिनका अनुसार तिनको डर समाप्त भइसकेको छ र अब उसको बुवाका हत्या र र बाकी तहावीहरुले तिनको छोराको प्रतिशोध देखि डराउनु पर्दछ to fetch Alwan from the station, Sumeda or Mabroka's son has been sent by Asakir with an instruction to sing at the arrival of Alwan. Alwan lai station bata leona Sumeda arthat Mabroka ko chora lai Asakir dwara Alwan ko agman ma geet gaune nirdeshan saath station ma pathaiye ko huncha. 
A bit later, when the whistle of the departing train is heard, Sumida's song is also heard from distance, providing signs of the long-awaited arrival of Alwan. Ali Birpachi, Jabba train chutne samayko sithi sunin cha, Sumida ko geet pani, lamo samay bata parkhai gariye ko, alwan ko agman ko sanke tharu pardhan gardai, tada bata sunin cha. Sumida enters the room announcing his cousin alwan. Sumida kotha ma afno bhai alwan ko ghoshna gardai parvesh garda cha. When alwan enters, his mother Asake embraces him. जब अलवान प्रवेश करते थे, उसको आमा असाकिर उसलाई अंकमाल कर चिन। अलवान then greets his aunt Mabroka. अलवान तिस्पची अपनों काकी Mabroka को अभिवादन करते थे। Mabroka tells him that our hope lies in you and leaves the room with her son Sumeda. Mabroka हमरो आशा तिमी में छोड़ बनी उसलाई भंचिन र अपनों छोरा Sumeda संगे कोठा छाड़ चिन। Asaki starts a short polite conversation and presents a saddlebag to her son Alwan. Asaki ek choto binamr bartalap shuru garchin ra afno chora Alwan lai ek saddlebag arthat ek prakar ko thulo jhola pradan garchin. She has kept the saddlebag for 17 years. Tinle 17 barsha ru samman yo jhola rakhe ki hunchin. She relates to her son that her father's dead body was brought in the particular saddle back to her on a donkey. Tini afnu chura lai usko bhuwa ko mirtak sarir yehi bisees jhola ma gadha ma rakhi tini kaha leye ko thiyo bhani batao chin. She presents a knife of the murderer to her son too on which dear is the rust of blood. तीनी अपनों छोरा लाई हत्यारा को छोरा पनी भेद कर चिन जस्मा रगत को खिया लागे को हुंचा। She camped the blood-stained knife in the past। तिले यो रगत को दाग लागे को छोरा बिगत में रखे की थीन। After a bit of silence, Alwan inquires about the person responsible for this crime। अली बेर को सुनिता पची, Alwan यो अपराध को जिम्मेवार व्यक्ति का बारे में सोच पूछ कर दोषा। Asake reveals to him the fact about Suelam Tahavi without any hesitation. Asake Nisan coach Suelam Tahavi ka bari ma uslai tathya ko khulasa garchin. According to her, Suelam Tahavi murdered his father 17 years back. Din ka anusar Suelam Tahavi le usko bua ko hatya shatra bars pahile gariu. When Alwan asks her how she knows all these things, she explains that the whole village knows. जब अलवान तिनले कसरी तिनले इस संपूर्ण कुराहरु था पाउनु भयो भनी सोध्दा छ, तिनी संपूर्ण गाउँलाई था छ भन्दै व्याख्या गर्छिन्। Later, Alwan inquires about the investigation related to his father's murder. पछि अलवान उसको बुवा को हत्या को अनुसंधान संबंधी सोधपूछ गर्दा छ। Asake tells him that they have no enemies except the Havis. Asakir Uslai, Tini Haruku, the Havi Haru Bahek, Kuni Aru Shatru Haru Chinan Mani Batanjin. She expects revenge against the Havis by her son Alwan. Tini Afnu Tora, Alwan Dwara, the Havi Haru Birud, the Badlaku Asagarchin. Alwan confronts his mother saying that she is living in ignorance of wrong traditions. Alwan afno ama ko samna gartai bhanda cha ki tini galat parampara haru ko agyanta ma baachi rahe ki chin. He tells his mother that he hasn't come to the village to revenge or kill the person whom he hasn't seen. U afno ama lai, u afu tiyo bhyakti just like usle dekhe ko ni chai na, tiyas lai maar na wa tiyas sanga badla li na gao aye ko hai na bhani batao cha. He reveals his intentions of arriving in his village. U afnu gauma auni afnu mansai haruku klasa gardasa. He wishes to bring a better life for all his villages. U afna sampuna gauli haruka lagi ek uttam jivan leona chahancha. He expects all his villages will live in houses like humans where animals don't sleep with them. उ आशा गर्दछ कि उसका सम्पूर्ण गाउँलेहरू घरहरूमा मानवहरू जस्तै बसुन् जहाँ जनावरहरू तिनीहरूसँग नसुतुन्
they will have a better quality of life with access to the facility of education and clean running water. Tini haru sanga sitya ko pahunch ra shuddh bage ko pani ko suvidha saath ek uttam istar ko jeevan hoos. Question rahe ko cha, why has Asakya sent her only son to live in Cairo after her husband's murder? Does he fulfill her wish after his return? Kina Asakir le afno sirman ko hatya pachi afno ek matar chora lai Cairo ma basna ka lagi pathai ki hun. Ke tin ko chora firta aai tin ko ichya pura garda cha. Question why doesn't Alwan want to kill his father's murderer? Kina Alwan afno buwa ko hatyara lai marna chahan dai na. Asakir becomes quite irritated with her son's bookish words. Asakir afno chura ko kitabi sabda haru suni nikai risaunchin. She orders Alwan to move out of her house. Tini Alwan lai afno ghar bata bahira nishkini adesh din chin. She curses him being angry. Tini risaira uslai sraak chin. She thinks his position futile. Tini lai usko isthan birtha ko lagda cha. Alwan tells his mother that he will return to the station and then to Cairo. Alwan afno ama lai u station ratyas pachi Cairo firta jane kura batao cha. He prays to God to calm down his mother's violent soul. U bhagwan sanga afno ama ko akramak atma santo hus bhani prathra garda cha. When Sumeda enters, he finds Asakir alone and motionless. Jawa tinko bhatijo Sumeda kothama parvesh garda cha, u Asakir lai eklo ra achal bhitam cha. She is shocked after hearing Alwan's words. Tini Alwan ka sabdharu suni sake pasat achamit hunchin. She relates Sumeda that her son Alwan returned to the station. Tini Sumeda lai Alwan station phirta gayo bhani batao chin. According to her, Alwan wants to flee from his responsibility of taking revenge for his father. Tinka anusar, Alwan afnu bhuvako badlalini jimibari vata bhagna chahan cha. She starts striking herself again and again. Tini barambar afulai hirkauna suru garchin. Sumeda becomes restless to find his aunt's axe. Sumeda afnu kaki ka kari haru dekda bechen hun cha. He tries his best to stop her from harming herself. U tini lai afu lai hani purano bata rokna afno sagdo pariyas garda cha. Asakir demands the same old knife from Sumeda so that she can stab her belly. Asakir Sumeda bata tehi purano chura ko maag garchin taki tini afno pet tehi chura le ghopna shakun. Sumeda tells his aunt that she has gone mad. Sumeda afno kaki lai tapai pagal hunu bhai ko cha bhani bhanda cha. She stares at him and asks, Sumeda, are you a man? Tini Sumeda lai ekoro her chin, ra so chin, Sumeda, ke timi ek mard hau. When Sumeda asks her what she wants from him, she orders him to take the knife and plunge it into the chest of her son Alwan. Jaba Sumeda tini usbata ke chahan chin bhani swadda cha. Tini uslai chura samata ra tin ko chora alwan ko chati ma parhar gara bhani adesh din chin. Nimna anu chhed lai padnu hoos ra tiyas pachi ka prasna haru ko uttar dinu hoos. Question number A. What is Asakir asking Sumeda to do? Asakir Sumeda lai ke garna bhani rahe ki chin. Question number B. Who is Alwan? Alwan Koho. Question number C. Why does Asakir urge Sumeda to kill Alwan? Kina Asakir Sumeda lai Alwan lai marna binti garchin. Sumeda is shocked to hear her words. Sumeda tinka sabdharu suni jilla barda cha. Ba she urges him to kill his cousin. Tara tini uslai afno bhai lai marna bhani binti garchin. Question rahe ko cha, who is Sumeda? Why does Asakir urge him to kill his cousin? 
सुमेधा को हो किन असाकिर उसलाई उसको भाईलाई मारने बिन्ती गर्छिन असाकिर हैंड्स द सेम नाइफ टू सुमेधा विद रिजोल्यूशन एंड इनवोक्स दैट मे हिज ब्लड वॉश ऑफ हिज फादर्स ब्लड दैट हैज ड्राइड ऑन द ब्लेड असाकिर तेही छुरा सुमेधालाई संकल्प साथ सुम्पिन्छिन र आह्वान गर्छिन कि छुरामा लागेको उसको बुवाको सुकेको रगत उसको रगतले पखालोस Sumeda leaves the room along with the knife saying if he finishes his task of killing Alwan she will hear his voice raised in the song from the district office Sumeda kotha bata chura sath yo bhandai niskincha ki yadi u afno Alwan lai marne karya siddhyauncha bhane tini jilla office bata geet ma usko jod ko awaz sunne chhin Next Mabroka enters with a salted fish for Alwan त्यसपछि मबरौका अलवानका लागि नुनिलो माछा साथ कोठामा प्रवेश गर्छिन् सी फाइन्ड्स असाकिर सिटिङ अलोन तिनी असाकिरलाई एक्लै बसेको भेटाउँछिन् व्हेन सी इन्क्वायर्स अबाउट अलवान असाकिर टेल्स हर द्याट अलवान हेज फ्लैड रिफ्युजिङ हिज ड्युटी अफ एभेन्जिङ हिज फादर्स ड्याथ जब तिनी अलवानका बारेमा सोधपुछ गर्छिन् असाकिर तिनलाई अलवान आफ्नो बुवाको मृत्युको बदला लिने आफ्नो कर्तव्यबाट मनाही गर्दै भागेको छ भनी बताउँछिन् सी रिफर्स दैट अलवान हेज डाइड तिनी अलवानको मृत्यु भइसकेको छ भन्दै जनाउँछिन् सी हेज अ काइन्ड अफ फियर अन हर फेस तिनको अनुहारमा एक प्रकारको भय हुन्छ म ब्रौका बिकम्स रेस्टलेस टु फाइन्ड हर डिफरेन्ट इन हर फेसियल अपियरेन्स मबरौका तिनलाई मुहार रूपबाट फरक भेटाउँदा बेचैन हुन्छिन् व्हेन सी आक्स अबाउट हर सन सुमेधा असाकिर टेल्स हर द्याट ही हेज गोन टु द स्टेसन आफ्टर अलवान टु स्टप हिम फ्रम गोइङ जब तिनी आफ्नो छोरा सुमेधाको बारेमा सोच्छिन् असाकिर तिनलाई सुमेधा अलवानलाई जानबाट रोक्न भनी स्टेसन गएको छ भनी बताउँछिन् Asakir asks her about Sumedha's song but Mabroka doesn't hear anything. Asakir Mabroka lai Sumedha ko geet sambandhi sochin tara Mabroka kehi pani sundinan. When Mabroka pleads with Asakir to listen to her but Asakir screams that she hears nothing. Jab Mabroka Asakir lai aphno kura suna bhani binti garchin tara Asakir tini kehi pani sundai chainin bhani chichyauchin. Finally Mabroka hears Sumedha singing. Antimma Mabroka Sumedha ko gai rahe ko sunchin. She turns and becomes terrified by her sister's state and asks desperately what is happening. Tini paltinchin ra aphno jethani ko avastha dekhda bhaybit hunchin ra udasin parale ke bhai rahe ko cha bhani sochin. Asakir cries loudly saying my son Asakir jodli mero chhora bhandai runchin Asakir becomes quite sad Asakir nikai dukhi hunchin Here in the dialogue between Asakir and Mabroka we learn that Asakir hopes that her son will escape on the train Yahan Asakir ra Mabroka beech ko sambad ma hami haru tha paunchau ki असाकिर तिनको छोरो ट्रेनमा बसी भाग्ने छ भन्ने आशा गर्छिन् बट सुमेधा सङ कन्फर्म्स हर सन अलवान्स ड्याथ एन्ड द प्ले एम्स विथ असाकिर्स ग्रीफ तर सुमेधाको गीतले तिनको छोरो अलवानको मृत्यु निश्चित गर्दछ र नाटक असाकिरको दुखसँगै समाप्त हुन्छ क्वेशन रहेको छ हाउ डज द प्ले एन्ड नाटक कसरी अन्त्य हुन्छ Question draw the character sketch of Asakir Asakir ko charitra chitran garnu hos Question raheko cha is it sensible to take revenge of murder why or why not justify your answer ke hatya ko badla linu samajhdari ho kina ho wa kina hoina tapai ko uttar ko pushti garnu hos Question inciting people to kill other people is violence 
and against the justice and the right of the person to live, explain. Manish Harulai, Aru Manish Harulai Marne Hosla Dinu, Himsahu, Ranyai, Rabbekti Basne Adhikarko, Birudhu, Bekyagar Nuhus.